I'm here to learn absolutely everything. I'm quite ignorant. Turn me into a wine connoisseur, like, immediately. I want to impress my friends, because one thing I do know, and that is that there is so much rubbish talked about wine. And so I think we're going to be looking to Jasper to sort of demystify it, but make us sound posh, make it sound as if we know what we're talking about. The way we taste in the mouth is very different to the nose, because in the mouth we taste we taste saltiness, we taste sourness, we taste sweetness, and we taste bitterness. That's it, just four senses in the mouth. And then, in order to get the full experience, we then must breathe air over the wine while it's in our mouth. Now, what we're really looking for here is balance. You want the balance of acidity and fruit on the nose. Oh, love that. It's actually got a hell of a strong bouquet. Try and give us a broad view of red wine. We're going to taste, with the same theory as the white, a new world grape variety against an old world. So we're going to have the first wine we'll taste is Pinot Noir from New Zealand, where we'll capture all the lovely jammy fruit in there. And then we're going to taste against that an old world Pinot Noir, and we're going to go to Burgundy. Let's have a little sniff. Now I'm hoping you're going to get some Strawberry come raspberry, but this is quite rich strawberry it's and raspberry. Really, really rich. Yep. And a little meaty, Ooh. a little grilled meat almost. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very powerful. What we do with the tomatoes is we dry them in the oven overnight just to reduce the water content and increase the sweetness. So again, from this point of view, you've got the sweetness of the tomato. It's going to cut through the richness of the lamb and the fat. All quite light, elegant flavours, and you'll find that the lamb will stand up to that quite nicely. Well, it's a marriage made in heaven, isn't it? Having got the bottle here, we've allowed this bottle to rest. So I'm just going to cut the capsule off neatly, pull the cork, and then I'm going to gently decant it. Jasper is brilliant. There's a lot of pretentiousness and pomposity talked about wine. And with him, he's very, very good at putting it into plain English. We've learned a lot. <laughs>